How are you? How are you, Stop ID? I'm filming you. <laughs> Don't run. Stop. Stop running. How are you? Today I'm talking to you. Last time I didn't get a chance. I'm here for the first time now, so I don't know anything about this clinic. Anyway, but it looks look nice, yeah? I love even the people is look like, uh, like friends, yeah? mm. Customers coming from South Sudanese, mm. uh, Sudanese, <laughs> Ethiopians, mm. Eritreans, and some Somalis. Mm. So it's like... I've seen you have Ugandan staff. Yeah, we have Ugandan. Good morning, guys. Welcome back to another video. It's a morning, yeah. And we are making on this intro on the streets of Kansanga and Kawalagala. We're in Kansanga, right? Yeah. And we are back with other video. It's been a while since we vlogged. And when you reach actually here, it smells different. The area looks good. Like, you yeah, are not in Kampala. Like, you are in the area of Eritreans, Somalians, Ethiopians, everywhere. But let me do one thing a little bit before we go. Eh? I'm going to try to ask people around here where I can find Eritreans. What do you think? Hey, they're going to tell you here. Because, yeah, most I'm going to vlog. Or I, anybody I find, or Ugandan, or Eritrean, I'm going to pretend that I'm Eritrean. But this video is not the part of the day why we are going to do this video. We are going to promote something different. Today, we are going to promote a book. Dek na, fidela tigri nya bugu book. Kutsafon kambabun. Tlet na diu, belu, hadush bisrata lenna. Bitikal kullu stadalawet. Fidel Stesemet, Fidel Tirinya Bugubo Asfira, Quanqua Adomen, Quanqua Diomen, Nagorum Carta de Cana, Bugubo Catano Etegis, Haddash Metaf, Tedelatul Kumala, Can Hijib Fidelat English Train Felt Ametaf, Betigrina Tedalia, Amul Alem, Abul to Conat Nehabesh at Zerge Hatulcum, Camzella, Bagos, Nebesiracum, Metaf Fidel, Nidecana. Kinoti of Hagorum Zilum Tegadas net, it is photo neck on Kamilkat win, dink you. Nezamet half Nimunan, business about Rashana Katrobunat Relu. Met half Fidel Tirinia, Bellist met half. Petical Kulu, a Kulla Alam. Kablomi, Nezamet half Nidek Nan Munan, Absorban and Habisha to Conat Kidna, Kinges and Kanunan Rel. Fidel Tirinia, Bellist met half, Petical Kulu. Where are you going to learn how to write Tiglinya? Yeah. So we are going to meet somebody later. Watch this video until the end. It's really interesting. And don't cut this one. Just watch everything and go check out other videos. We did some older videos a few days ago. They are crazy. They are not part of this. But before also you go there, if you have a phone problem, actually talk about that. We have a, a, a phone shop at... Mosley. <laughs> Anifa Tower, shop Anifa number Tower. F29 is called Zlim Shop Prepare and Accessories. Everything is there. You can get your phone accessories. Even you want a phone, gadgets, uh, chargers, buckets where you keep buggies, everything that you need to, keep to fill, fix your phone. He is there. He's waiting for you. Shop number F29. All right, let me walk around. I'm on the streets and it actually looks weird when you're vlogging around here. Bro, how are you? I'm actually from Eritrea and I'm trying to find some Eritreas around here. Where can I find them? Eritrea. So can you This one. You talk to Eritreans. Have you seen them before? Hmm? You haven't seen them? Yeah. They haven't come to your salon? Anything? Thank you so much. Okay, see where Eritrea. I'm going to go to Kula. Where can I find some Eritreans around here? Oh, Ethiopian, Somalian, Sakalaki. They are my sisters and brothers. I'm from Eritrea, actually. Yeah, so I'm trying to find them. That's why I wanted you to direct me on the camera so you can be nice. Mm. Where exactly? Mm. I have to go like this. Is it possible that I can find them in the area? Walking around. Thank you so much. Guys, now I'm in Kabalagala actually at UK Mall. I'm still looking for my brothers and sisters around here, but it's not easy. People, some they can show me where I can go, some don't. But anyway, 
don't give up i'm still looking for you guys and watch this video guys until the end because we are going to the very big reason why i made this video mostly to promote this pool you're gonna learn how to write your tig linear if you don't know anything most people i told them that i'm eritrean and they're like oh wow then they stand up and show me where i can find you guys but i already know where to find you our ride is here let's leave here. Guys, since I'm in Kabalagala, and I'll tell you something else about the book. I have the book in my hands, and I'll tell you this about in the next video. Watch the video until the end. You will see what happens with the book. But I have a friend, Helen, from East African Hospital. She's up there. I don't know if she's there. Let me just give her a visit, right? That would be cool. Let's go up. hospital used to be in this place is African official medical center it used to be in this place all this area but we moved it up there I don't know address Kabalagala Gabalot South Point more so we are going up this is where the hospital was moved she doesn't know we are here I'm also not sure if she is there but anybody who is there is going to welcome us how are you bro? She <laughs> just took her. He was listening to what we were speaking, but listen guys, it's so weird when you are vlogging around, everybody will be looking at you like. But look, I don't know if Ellen is there, but if she's there, we shall be happy and we surprise her. Let's go. We are at the hospital. We surprise a friend, but actually she's not here. That's too bad, but they tried to contact her and we see what we can do. We are on the reception of the hospital, see? Right there. The tree went bad. I wish she was here. Oh, she's coming. Maybe. Oh, she's coming. She comes. But we have the manager, actually. He is here. He's the one trying to contact her. We shall speak up to him. And other people are here. Okay? And our sister is also there. Guys, I'm in the hospital, but I'm supposed to be silent because there are patients here. That's a hospital bed. But, you know, whenever I go here, we first go to these places. Sometimes I'm sorry to do this, but guys, this is funny. I don't go to places where there's no this place. See? This is my favorite place <laughs> in the area. Whenever I come here, I know guys you watch me doing this. But I always do that all the time. But look guys, the thing is, um, Ellen is not here. And in the future, as we are going to speak to the doctor, she he is going to tell you us what's going to happen. You have to donate in the future. And there are a few videos that are going to come up. Very crazy, very beautiful. I'm in a toilet because this is a hospital. It should be quiet. But this is my sister's place, so I surprised her. And unfortunately, she wasn't here. Mm. But the good thing there are good people, doctors, nurses, everybody is good. So let's go sit. Guys, I sneaked into. Let me sneak into this room. There's no one. There's no patient. This is how it actually looks. Yeah, there's a fridge right there, and that's a bed for you. I don't know what is that, I'm going to nurse, you have a toilet, your patient has a TV. It's actually crazy when they're coming. It's like, they are coming, they are coming. No, nobody's coming. Another one is right there. I don't know if there is light. Yes, we got the light. Oh, this one is different. So, look at this. This is East African Medical Center in Kabalagala, okay, South Pole Mall, just last floor. And you come here, bring your patients, bring everyone around. It's crazy. They are coming. It's next year to the hospital and I'm running. Okay. There's a corridor. There. There's another bed here. Actually, there are not too much patients. Oh, this one is a double. There are not too much patients. Thank God people are healthy and they are not sick too much. So, this is your bed. Okay, let me check the curtains. Now the other side is a corridor. This is a bedroom for patients. I'm sneaking, just remember I'm not authorized to do that, but I'm doing it for Helen. So just know this is her hospital. She invested her money here 
a lot, you know. All right, we're going back to this side. Okay, there's a patient who cannot go there. This is the corridor. That's a reception. Yeah, and this is Ed here. Man, are you sick? No. Good. Okay. Why in the hospital if you're not sick? We just can't pay the visit. Who? Missed Mrs. Aaron. Yeah, actually, it didn't surprise him in here, but yeah, we're still getting authorized. I, I sneaked in two rooms. See yeah, I sneaked in two rooms, but they are fine, they are nice. I put them on ice. Nobody told me to do that, okay? So, <laughs> this is funny. I'm doing, I said, like, I'm doing it for Ellen. I can't do anything here, so let me try to go inside here. I'm authorized to move everywhere. Excuse me. I'm in your office and I'm not authorized but I've just done it on my own. How are you? How are you, Mr. Fidey? I'm filming you. <laughs> don't run. Stop. Stop no, running. No, 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 no. How are you? Today I'm talking to you. Last time I didn't get a chance. And I want you to tell me something. This place looks different. So how are you? I'm okay. How's the place? Good? Good. You're looking good ever since I left you. Really? It's been a long time. Thank you. How is Helen? She's okay. She's fine. I just sneaked into every room in this hospital where there's no patients. Mm -hmm. Okay? I'm safe with that. When I saw a patient, I was hiding. Mm -hmm. But how are you? We are okay. I miss you guys. <laughs> You're funny and people are going to laugh at you because last time when I posted, they are commenting on you. Your sister is funny. How are the babies? Okay. You have some? I have two. These are the files. I don't know what are they for. We just sneaked into this hospital. Can I help you? Finally. Okay. But uh, you made the place small now. Why? It has the carpet. So what if, what if you have like four to five kids? Still we need bigger space. This one is only for one person. This is my sister who's responsible for special kids in this hospital, actually. You have any special kid who has anything to do with... Um, Neurologically. Yeah. She can help you out. Okay. I can be... You can give me a job. Yeah? I want a job. Uh, like <laughs> to take care of them. Yeah, you yeah, can. Wow. <laughs> so when they come, you put down the carpet. No, yeah, it's because now it's Saturday, so we clean, we do general cleaning today. Oh, so you're going to put it back? Yeah. And then? But from Monday until Friday, mm. it is open, everything is there. So on weekend they don't come? Uh, just this weekend. Just this weekend? Yeah. Why am I so unlucky? Whenever I come here, they are not here. I only came one time, I had no camera and yeah. they were here. Really? Yeah. Do you remember that time when I came to your office, the first ah, time? Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. That time yeah. they were aware. They are here. Thank you. Thank you. See you. Okay. I always surprise her. She doesn't want cameras, but I always follow her. <laughs> hey, can I lock it? I'm only 55. What? That's crazy. Only 55. <laughs> Hello, how are you? My name is Avisolom Bahta. I'm from Eritrea. And I'm uh, here as a supervisor in East Africa Hafeshaw Medical Center. So that's why uh, it's been good. Yeah, good. like uh, this hospital was organized in uh, 2017, mm. and it's been like five years since. Uh, yeah, 2018. Mm. Five years since it was organized. So it's good. So what's the difference between this hospital and other hospitals around the country? Um, there is no a big difference in between, but this uh, hospital is like uh, for the Habesha people, Ethiopians and Eritreans, mostly the East African people like... East African? Yeah. yeah uh, who as can the, speak English? Properly. Yeah, as the name indicates, it's East Africa Medical Center. So there are customers coming from South Sudanese, mm. uh, Sudanese, Ethiopians, Eritreans, 
and some Somalis. Mm. So it's like. I've seen you have Ugandan staff. Yeah, we have Ugandan staff. Sounds good. It's How good. Is yeah. With them? yeah, it's very you get good. Also, other nationalities apart from the Ethiopians, the Ugandans, the Ugandans. Yeah, of course we. White people. Yeah, sometimes. Mm. Uh, white people sometimes, uh, but Ugandans. Mm. Yeah, have, we have customers. What are, can be the challenges that you face uh, in this business here in Uganda? Uh, up to date, it's okay. So you've been here since 2017? No, I was here since 2020. 2020. Yeah. So tell us the upcoming events about like, the notion and what's going on in the next yeah, few months. This, uh, this uh, blood donation association was organized uh, one year ago. So it was like uh, organized by the, the by the Eritreans, as the name indicates, it was uh, Eritreans blood donation group. Mm. So they give a blood every three months. Mm. It's a good interaction with the people, like with the Ugandan people in the community. In the community, yeah, it's it's a it's a big uh, advantage to interact with. Because every time we donate blood, every three months, mm. and uh, the coming next uh, seventh campaign will be on uh, March, mm. on March first or mm. fifth. I don't know. Around there. Yeah, around there. So when you come to donate, you don't choose which nationality. Everyone can come. Around. Everyone can donate. From different nationalities. Every person have a red blood, mm. and that red blood saves mm. a life. Okay. So. Everyone can donate the blood. You personally, how is life here? Life is good. It's good. good. Yeah. All right. Thank you, sir. Thank you, man. Nice to see you. You're welcome. Very much to me. This is awesome. Is it empty? Are you ready? Any time you can Bro. Yes, bro. ነብስራኩም መጽሐፍ ፊደል ንደቅና ኪኖቲ አባ ሀገሮም ዘሎም ተገዳስነት እትትፈጥሩና ቋንቋ ምልከቱ ወን ድንቅዩ ነዛ መ